Okay, this car has a slow cranking when I start it, so what I'm going to do is try out this battery load tester to see if it's the battery that's the fault. Take off the cover and connect to the leads, red to positive. Okay, and the black to the negative. Put that in there. You can see that we're already starting off at 12 point. Okay, start the car. And that's that. I think it went down to 10. But you see now that it's, you can see it's actually charging okay. And if you put the lights on, just put the headlights on. Turn the headlights on. Hey, that's the lights on and it dropped but jumped back to where it should be. It's charging about 14.8, 14.7. So you know the charging is okay. And it was about 10 volts. Then we cranked it. And this scale here that says the cranking voltage at 10 volts is equivalent to 11. Okay, just switch it off. So the voltage is slightly higher now, it's got a surface charge. You see there where we went down to about 10, I think it was, cranking. And over here it says the cranking voltage about 10 is equivalent to a load voltage of 11. A load voltage of 11 would have been okay. I'm gonna hold this for 10 seconds. One, two, three, four. What? See that's in the weak. Bit there, right? So it's weak. The battery's weak, but it's been charged. I drive it a lot, so it's just a case of a weak battery. Another test I can do is put these leads onto the starter motor. Yeah, I think it must be at the back of the car. So what I could have done was just connect the leads the same way, but on the positive post on the starter motor, on the side of the starter motor. You know, that's the battery, but I'm just saying, if I could have easily got to the starter motor, I could have connected them out the same way. Done the same test here. And then if it dropped even more, we know that it's the cables that are faulty. Load testing. We'll start them out of that way. In this case, it's just a weak battery. Also, it gives you a scale for the temperature. It's in the back of it. So you take it a step down if it's 0 degrees minus 10 minus 20. Slow voltage recovery indicates run down condition. If it goes back fast, it means that it's not run down, it's just not very good. Like that, it sprang straight back up. So I think that's indication that it's a weak battery and it's not the charge condition because if it was released and the needle came back slowly. If it gradually moved over, then that would have just meant maybe a charge would fix the battery, but in this case I think it's needing replaced, especially now we're getting into winter. You don't need to crank it for this test. All you're doing is the same test that you do at the battery. And if you get a different test, here if it's lower, you get the other lead going to there, it could be a Voltage drop in the positive wire going to it, the terminals, or it could be in the ground side because there'll be a ground cable from the engine to the chassis. It could be that that needs cleaned or the, the bolts around the starter. So that's a way of getting an idea if your cables are bad and that's causing the voltage drop and why your engine's cranking slowly. If the engine's cranking slowly, it could be the cables. That's your problem. They could have a high resistance in them, bad contacts, could be the ground side or the positive side. The other thing, it could be like I say, a tight engine. It's going to turn over slow because it's seized or tight, whatever reason. It could be the transmission that's faulty. Okay, so when you've checked out the car and you're happy that there's nothing wrong with the battery, it's passing the load test, and you're happy that it's not got a, a voltage drop across the cables, um, so you've ruled out the cables and you've ruled out the battery. 
but you still got a slow crank, it could be the tightness of the engine. And you would just put on a bar and rotate the engine and see, is it tight? Is it actually seized? Um, could be, like I say, it could be the transmission it's attached to the engine. It could be something in that. I've seen that happen in a Passat, Volkswagen Passat, when the dual mass flywheel had just come apart slightly and it was rubbing against the bell housing of the transmission. It made the engine hard to turn over and it made it have a slow cranking. Um, you, you would have seen a voltage drop on that car when you were cranking it, but it wasn't down to any electrical faults. So using the load tester can rule out whether it's electrical or it can rule out whether it's mechanical. Anyway, just thought I'd show you me using it. Thanks for watching.